Okay, so I'll be trying this uh, Campbell's uh, Keurig product, and uh, apparently it makes chicken broth and noodle soup, and um, brewing the water right now. And I mean, it, this, the information seems pretty simple. Yeah, empty the soup blend packet. Yep, insert the broth stuff. Um, and then uh, wait for it to put all of it together. So we'll see how it tastes. So here's the seasoned mix. I put it in there. Yeah. So wait. Whoops. I think I followed the steps wrong. Oops. I was supposed to empty this first. This packet. Noodle and vegetable mix. So there's that's what it looks like. And um yeah, noodles and stuff. Okay, so I already put the pot in. Basically, you just click this button. Makes a lot of noise, so I'm sorry. Ho -ho! Look at that black broth. <laughs> Boy, it looks really gross. Hmm, smells actually really good. Kind of. Uh, it actually smells kind of weird. Never mind. I don't know. It smells interesting, to say the least. Through that way. I'm excited. Mm. So they told me to stir it for two to three minutes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. It smells kind of like lamb, not chicken. So that, that makes me kind of iffy. I mean, I've had lamb before, but. <sighs> okay, we'll see. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna try this soup. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it tastes. <laughs> it's really salty. <laughs> but... It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not like tried to put spice in it. And it's just like, like it's kind of spicy, but it's not like that spicy. It's really not. It's like ramen, but like cheaper, maybe. I don't know. I paid a dollar fifty for it at Target. I don't know why I keep trying it. It it tastes a little weird. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was me trying this stuff, and it's okay. I'm just procrastinating on homework, so I should get back to it. So. <laughs> Have a nice life. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> it's a really dumb. Why did I do I don't know. Like this this stuff isn't really too bad though. I mean I would maybe if they had a different flavor. It'd be interesting if they had like a tomato. Oh tomato. I love me some tomato soup. This is just really weird. I mean, it cooked the noodles. Like, the noodles are soft. The noodles are soft. Okay, try a piece of corn. Corn's cooked. So, I mean, if you're... If you don't have a whole lot of money, and you want something a little bit better than ramen, I'd get this. I don't really like ramen. It's just way too salty. This, I believe... 
It has... Oh, <laughs> it actually has about the same amount of sodium in it. 750 milligrams. Um, <laughs> so never mind. I would say it has less sodium. Well, maybe it does, but I don't really know. It's okay. Out of 10 stars, I'd probably give it a 6. 10 meaning like, oh my gosh, this is so great for cheap food. 1 being like, this is, just don't waste your money. I'd give it a 6. Mm-mm, candles, chicken noodle, that's so good, yeah, possibilities, uh, da 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 yeah. Mm-mm, mm, -mm Mm-mm, And it was okay. I mean, I wouldn't pay $3 for it. But one fifty. that's fine. 75 cents per pod. Not too shabby. It's cheaper than ramen. But then... Once you finish all the noodles and stuff, the good stuff, you just have the broth, and the broth isn't it's not that great. But, it's really not. <laughs> but hey. Yeah. 